हेलो डे स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू मैथमेटिक्स क्लास इन दिस क्लास लेट अस डिस्कस सम मोर थेरोटिकल एग्जांपल्स ऑन एनालिटिक फंक्शन एंड हार्मोनिक इक्वेशंस सो हियर द फर्स्ट एग्जांपल इज प्रूव दैट एन एनालिटिक फंक्शन विद अ कांस्टेंट पार्ट सॉरी कांस्टेंट मॉड्यूलस इज कांस्टेंट सो हियर इट इज गिवन दैट एनालिटिक फंक्शन व्हिच इज having the modulus as a constant then we need to show that that function is a constant function <coughs> so here we know that uh, suppose z is equal to x plus i y is a complex variable then modulus of this one is given by square root of x square plus y square and here it is given that this modulus is constant according to this problem so now f of z is equal to u plus iv and modulus of f of z is square root of u square plus v square and square of this one is mod f of z whole square is equal to u square plus v square now we need to show that f of z is constant means f of z equal to u plus iv is constant and given that given that mod f of z is constant means the modulus is constant if mod f of z is constant then it implies that mod f of z whole square is also constant so means here modulus of the constant sorry modulus of the analytic function is constant and its square is also constant and also and also f of z is analytic then it implies that f of z satisfies cr equations because by the condition of analytic function we can say that f of z satisfies the cr equations here the cr equations are do u by do x equal to do v by do y and do u by do y is equal to minus do v by do x so these are the cr equations and now here consider this equation as the first equation then then differentiate differentiate equation 1 with respect to x and y partially so let us consider the equation 1 and its derivatives with respect to x and y partial so now the equation one is u square plus v square equal to mod f of z whole square and we know that u and v are functions of x and y so now after differentiation this will become 2u do u by do x plus 2v do v by do x is equal to 0 so here we are differentiating equation 1 partially with respect to x so the lhs becomes 2u do u by do x and 2v do v by do x is equal to 0 because this f of z whole square is constant and now by taking two common we can write this as 2 into u do u by do x plus v do v by do x equal to 0 that is u into do v by do x plus v into do v by do x 
is equal to 0 and consider this as second equation. Now differentiating equation 1 with respect to y we get u into dou u by dou y plus v into dou v by dou y is equal to 0. Here it is 2 times u into dou u by dou y and 2 times v into dou v by dou y is equal to 0. So now by taking 2 common and cancelling that we get u time u into dou u by dou y plus v into dou v by dou y is equal to 0. Now applying the CR equations for this one we get u into. So we know that dou u by dou y is equal to minus dou v by dou x plus v into dou v by dou y is equal to dou u by dou x is equal to 0. So, here it is dou v by dou x and v into dou u by dou x is equal to 0 and consider this as equation number 3. Now, squaring and adding equations 2 and 3. Now, squaring and adding equations 2 and 3 we get. So, here this is equation 2 and this is equation 3. Now, squaring and adding this one. So, we get u into dou u by dou x plus v into dou v by dou x whole square plus u into or this becomes minus u into dou v by dou x plus v into dou u by dou x whole square it is equal to 0. So, now here this is of the form a plus b whole square and a minus b whole square. So, therefore, now expanding this a plus b whole square we get u square dou u by dou x whole square plus v square dou v by dou x whole square plus 2 u v dou u by dou x into dou v by dou x plus. So, it is about the first term and in the next term we get again minus is there that is a minus b whole square. So, therefore, here also we get u square into dou v by dou x whole square plus v square into dou u by dou x whole square, but here we get minus 2 a b that is minus 2 v u v dou u by dou x into dou v by dou x is equal to 0. So, therefore, here plus 2 u and minus 2 u that will get cancelled then remaining u square dou u by dou x whole square v square dou v by dou x whole square and again u square dou v by dou x whole square plus v square dou u by dou x whole square. So, now by taking u square and v square common. So, it is u square common then remaining here dou u by dou x whole square plus here we get dou v by dou x whole square plus v square common here also we get dou u by dou x whole square plus dou v by dou x whole square is equal to 0. Now, for both the terms we get dou u by dou x whole square plus dou v by dou x whole square is common. So, therefore, we get u square plus v square into dou u by dou x whole square plus dou v by dou x whole square is equal to 0. <coughs> now, we know that dou u by dou x whole square plus dou v by dou x whole square is the modulus of the function f dash of z because here 
we know that f dash of z equal to dou u by dou x plus sorry plus i into dou v by dou x then its modulus is given by square root of dou u by dou x whole square plus dou v by dou x whole square then squaring on both sides we get a mod f dash of whole square equal to this one. So, therefore, it is mod f dash of z whole square and this one is u square plus v square. What is u square plus v square? So, here u square plus v square equal to we know that u square plus v square equal to mod f of z whole square right. So, therefore, it is mod f of z whole square is equal to 0, but it is given that modulus of the function is constant means it is c square mod f dash of z whole square equal to 0. It implies that mod f dash of z is equal to 0. So, means sorry mod f dash of z whole square equal to 0 because 0 divided by c square only it is 0 if modulus of the function is constant. Then now it implies that mod f dash of z is also 0 because the square of f dash of z whole square is 0 and its square root is also 0. So, therefore, here if modulus of a function is 0 means here modulus of function means that is square root of x square plus y square right. So, if it is 0 means both x equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 then the function itself means here it is giving that z equal to 0 because z equal to x plus i y here x equal to 0 y equal to 0 means the z itself will be equal to 0. Similarly, here mod f dash of z equal to 0 means it is giving that f dash of z equal to 0 and also we know that if the derivative of any function is 0 that is only when the function is constant. So, therefore, it implies that f of z is constant and hence the proof. So, here we have proved that the function f of z is constant whose modulus is also constant. The next example is if f of z equal to u plus i v is an analytic function then prove that u and v are harmonic. So, here it is giving that already f of z is analytic, analytic means it has satisfied the CR equations and we need to show that the real and imaginary parts of the function f of z is equal to u plus i v are an harmonic. So, here u is the real and v is the imaginary part of the function f of z equal to u plus i v. So, now we need to show that both u and v are harmonic. So, complex variable is said to be harmonic if it is satisfying the Laplace equations. So, here the Laplace equations for u are dou square u by dou x square plus dou square v by dou y square equal to so dou square u by dou y square equal to 0 and dou square v by dou x square plus dou square v by dou y square equal to 0. So, these two are the Laplace equations for u and v. So, if these two equations are satisfied then we can say that u and v are harmonic. So, <coughs> for this we are going to use the CR equations. Now, since f of z equal to u plus i v is analytic. We can write that dou u by 
do x equal to do v by do y consider this as equation number 1 and do u by do y equal to minus do v by do x now this is the second equations so this is or these equations depends on cr equations condition for analyticity of a function now differentiate differentiate equation 1 with respect to x partially so then we get already do u by do x is there if we again differentiate this one that will become do square u by do x square is equal to and now here it is the derivative with respect to y then if you differentiate this with respect to x that will become do square v by do x do y and consider this as equation number 3 so now differentiate equation 2 with respect to y partially then the LHS becomes do square u by do y square is equal to here do square u by do y square and minus do square v by do x do y and consider equation number 4 now adding equations 3 and 4 adding equations 3 and 4 we get do square u by do x square plus do square u by do y square equal to do square v divided by do x do y minus do square v divided by do x do y which is equal to 0. So, therefore, do square u by do x square plus do square u by do y square is equal to 0 it implies that u is harmonic we have proved that u is harmonic and now we need to show that v is harmonic so therefore write the cr equations according to do v by do y and do v by do x so now we know that do v by do x is equal to minus do u by do y and consider this as equation number 5 Re already 4 equations have completed so therefore here is equation number 5 and do v by do y is equal to do u by do x equation number 6 and now differentiate equation 5 with respect to x then this becomes do square v by do x square plus sorry is equal to it already is do v by do x then on differentiating this once more we get do square v by do x square is equal to minus do square u by do x do y and it is seventh equation and differentiate equation 6 with respect to y then it is do square v by do y square is equal to do square u divided by do u sorry do x do y and it is the eighth equation now adding equations 7 and 8 we get do square v by do x square plus do square v by do y square is equal to minus do square u by 
डो एक्स डो वाई प्लस डो स्क्वेर यू डिवाइडेड बाई डो एक्स डो वाई सो दिस टू आर सेम हेन्स इट इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो देर फोर देर फोर डो स्क्वेर वी बाई डो एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस डो स्क्वेर वी बाई डो वाई स्क्वेर इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो अकॉर्डिंग टू द लाप्लास इक्वेशन इट इम्प्लाइज दैट वी इज हारमोनिक सो देर फोर वेन एवर ए फंक्शन एफ ऑफ जेड इक्वल टू यू प्लस आई वी इज एनालिक देन इट्स रियल एंड इमेजनरी पार्ट्स आर हारमोनिक only if the function is analytic means if the cr equation satisfied for some function f of z equal to u plus iv then its real and imaginary parts are harmonic the next example is show that f of z equal to sin x cos hyperbolic y plus i into cos x sin hyperbolic y is continuous as well as analytic here we need to show that the function f of z is continuous as well as analytic so we know that all the trigonometric functions and hyperbolic functions are continuous in some range here the given that sin x cos x and cos hyperbolic y sin hyperbolic y so all these four trigonometric functions are continuous so therefore no need to prove again just write the result so here given that f of z is equal to sin x cos hyperbolic y plus i into cos x sin hyperbolic y so here therefore here sin x cos x cos hyperbolic y sin hyperbolic y are all constants sorry are all continuous functions hence f of z is also continuous so here yeah, all the four functions which are involved in the given function f of z are continuous hence f of z is also continuous and now we need to prove that it is analytic so to prove the function is analytic first we have to write the u and v separately so u equal to sin x cos hyperbolic y and v equal to cos x sin hyperbolic y and do u by do x is equal to cos x cos hyperbolic y and do u by do y equal to sin x sin hyperbolic y so here treating x as the variable and y as the constant and here we need to treat y as a variable and x is constant and do v by do x this is minus sin x sin hyperbolic y and do v by do y is equal to cos x cos hyperbolic y so therefore here do u by do x equal to do v by do y and do u by do y is equal to minus do v by do x so therefore f of z is analytic so here the function f of z equal to sin x cos hyperbolic y plus i into cos x sin hyperbolic y is continuous and also it is analytic the next example is show that xy plus iy is continuous but not analytic so here again we need to prove that f of z is continuous but it is not analytic means the this function is not satisfying the cr equations so here u equal to xy 
and V is equal to Y. So, here U and V are polynomials in X and Y, right? Because U and V are the functions of X and Y means uh, polynomials in X and Y. So, we know that every polynomial function is continuous. We know that every polynomial function is continuous. Therefore, u and v are continuous. So, here u equal to x y and v equal to y. So, these two functions are continuous. If these two are continuous, it implies f of z is continuous. And now, u equal to x y, v is equal to y and dou u by dou x is equal to y because y is constant and x is a variable after differentiating x that will become 1 and dou u by dou y is equal to x. Similarly, here dou v by dou x equal to 0 because there is no x term then whatever the term is there that is constant and differentiation of constant is 0 and dou v by dou y is equal to 1. So, here it implies that dou u by dou x is not equal to dou v by dou y because it is y and this is 1 and dou u by dou y is not equal to minus dou v by dou x it is x and this one is 0. So, therefore, C R equations not satisfied. Therefore, f of z is not analytic. So, therefore, here we have proved that the given function is continuous, but not analytic.